In today's video, I will share with you the best game presses to use and how to install them. Let's get started. Gimp's robust image editing capabilities are significantly enhanced by its versatile brushes, offering flexibility and easy customization. While users can create their own custom brushes, exploring and selecting the best brush packs can be time-consuming. Fortunately, Gimp has the advantage of compatibility with Photoshop brushes, expanding the available options for users. Here are some notable brush packs. Special Media Brushes it is designed to replicate specific artistic mediums, such as pastel on paper or dry ink calligraphy brushes. It also offers a wide range of options for various artistic styles. Effect Brushes It is ideal for portrait photographers providing tools to create catch light effects without the need for an extensive collection of lighting equipment. It includes brushes for producing bokeh effects, mimicking the beautiful blurring created by certain photographic lenses. Abstract Brushes It features swirls, spatters, curves, and other shapes suitable for accenting larger compositions. Some brushes are of high quality, making them appealing even to those accustomed to creating their own. And lastly, we have Object Brushes. It is useful for adjusting skies in photos, particularly in rendering photorealistic clouds. It also offers a variety of cloud styles, including fluffy cumulus clouds commonly seen on sunny days. And for installing GIMP brushes, the first step is downloading the selected brush pack from the artist's website. Most packs are available as compressed files. Now open GIMP and access the Preferences window from the Edit menu. In the Preferences window, navigate to Folders and expand it. Then select Brushes, revealing locations checked during startup. Now, choose the writable folder, which is the user profile's custom GIMP folder, and then click Show File Location in the File Manager. Now, a new window will appear, showing the Brushes folder. Drag and drop the brush files from the compressed file into this folder. Now, restart GIMP, and GIMP will load them the next time it starts. Alternatively, in the Brushes panel, clicking the circular arrow icon allows users to refresh brushes without restarting GIMP. If you find this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And if you want to see more tutorials, turn on the notification bell to get notified whenever we upload new videos.